Welcome to Key Whitman Eye Center. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Whitman, and today I will be joined with Dr. Hawk and Dr. Barkey to talk about treating a pterygium. A pterygium is a common condition that often affects people who spend a lot of time out of doors in high UV sunlight conditions. People with a pterygium have a fleshy growth of tissue on the white of the eye, usually on the side closest to the nose. It is non-cancerous and usually grows slowly over time. At some point, it may stop growing and then start again. Over time, it can progress and begin to cover the pupil of the eye, which interferes with vision. A pterygium may affect one or both eyes, but is not a serious condition in most patients. It can cause annoying symptoms, such as a feeling of a foreign body or redness in the eye, but if allowed to grow across the surface of the eye, it can have a profound effect on your vision. Sometimes a pterygium only affects appearance. An enlarging pterygium, however, may cause redness and inflammation. In some cases, a pterygium can grow onto the cornea, the clear outer layer of the eye, and this can distort the shape of the cornea, resulting in blurred vision. Symptoms may include burning, a gritty sensation, itching, a sensation of a foreign body in the eye, or blurred vision. Rarely, if not removed in time, the pterygium can leave a permanent scar in the cornea, and this can limit your vision. It's not clear what causes a pterygium to develop, but most doctors believe risk factors include prolonged exposure to ultraviolet light, living in sunny climates like Texas, dry eye, and irritants such as dust and wind. Pterygium occurrence is much greater among people who live near the equator, but it can also develop in anyone who lives in a sunny climate. It's most often seen in young adults ages 20 to 40, and it appears to be more common in men than in women. Call us if you have symptoms. We can diagnose the condition by examining the front part of your eye with a microscope called a slit lamp. A pterygium usually doesn't require treatment if symptoms are mild. If a temporary worsening of the inflamed condition causes redness or irritation, it can be treated with lubricating eye drops, ointments, or prescription eye medications. If the vision causes persistent discomfort or interferes with vision, it can be surgically removed during an outpatient procedure. We will take into account the appearance and the size of the pterygium when making a decision about surgery. Surgery has a risk of complications, such as the recurrence of a more aggressive lesion. So surgery is usually considered only if the patient has had conservative treatments fail or their eyesight is at risk. Pterygium removal surgery is a brief outpatient surgery lasting 30 to 45 minutes. We use a graft of the patient's own tissue to fill the empty space when the pterygium is removed. This is shown to reduce chances of recurrence. After surgery, patients usually need to wear an eye patch for a day or two. After a few days, you can return to normal activities being careful not to rub or touch the eye, and avoiding swimming for 10 days. Often, patients are told to use steroid and antibiotic eye drops postoperatively. This will reduce inflammation and also prevent pterygium recurrence. The main complication of pterygium surgery is recurrence after removal. Without a graft, the recurrence rate is nearly 50%. Pterygium removal with a graft is associated with a much decreased recurrence risk of 5 to 10 percent. Surgical complications may also include corneal scarring and perforation. In some cases, surgical removal of pterygium can cause astigmatism. Patients need to be carefully followed for a year because 97 percent of recurrences occur during the first 12 months after surgery. You may attempt to prevent pterygiums or decrease their growth by wearing UV protective sunglasses every day, even on cloudy days. Choose sunglasses that block 99 to 100% of both ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B radiation. Wraparound sunglasses provide the best protection against ultraviolet light, dust, and wind. Experts also recommend wearing a hat with a brim to protect the eyes from ultraviolet light. To keep your eyes moist in dry conditions, apply artificial tears at least four times a day. I hope you find this information useful and we look forward to taking care of you.